Yo, what's going on, y'all? It's your boy Sinister. Sorry about that. Uh, the first part of the video, um, I had my phone sitting um, mounted on my dashboard, and it's hot out here, so the heat caused my phone to stop right at the end of that part of the video. But here's part two of um, why drivers not making no money. And I got a good title for it. Not making money here at night, and here's why, part two. Now, if you're not making no money here, or you're not making no, you're not making no money here. Here's some of my reasons why I feel drivers not making money here at night. One, you always late on your load. Two, you don't know how to run your DOT clock. Three, you not trip planning properly. Four, you turning down loads. Number five is you on per diem. Per diem does not benefit the driver. I'm, it don't. Because you could be making 38 cents and then you take per diem and they take off a certain amount of cents off your miles and then you making 25 cents, 24 cents, 26 cents. Now, your miles that you're supposed to get paid for, you're not really making the money you should. So, per diem, I don't feel it's beneficial to the driver. And I asked my trainer about that. And he's like, it doesn't benefit the driver. So, um, number six, you oversleeping. And now your DM got to rearrange. Now your DM has to reschedule your load and got to T-call it. So, that's number six. You oversleep in on your loads. Now you got to T-call it. Now you got to drop it and you lose miles on the trip. Number seven. You going home and you staying home for extended amounts uh, for extended period of time. You go home, you stay home for a week and a day, a week and a half, depending on what's going on. Sometimes you, you might run into a scenario, seven days home, a week home, eight days home. Then how long are you staying out before you go back home for another week off? That plays a factor. Number eight, Spending money like you got it like that and you just coming into the game You can't be spending money like you got it like that Stop trying to do what everybody else doing because you're gonna go broke My mama always told me when you follow the Joneses you end up broke So that's number eight number nine You don't know how to budget your money You're not budgeting your money. You just a swiping debiting credit you just, sp, 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 sp. for real, you're a notorious slasher with your debit card. Notorious slasher with your debit card. So, that's number nine. Number ten, you have unnecessary bills. You knew in the game you got unnecessary bills back home that you could eliminate. But you choose not to. So, that's one of the things. I cut my Netflix off. You know, even though it was $8 a month, add that up for the year. Or, I think it was $8 for Netflix or something like that. $12 or something like that. Add it up. When you first coming in, you got to be on the budget. So that's number 10. Number 11. Watching somebody else's pockets is a sure way for you to be upset with the money you make. When you watch this, when you watch somebody else's pockets, you start looking at your money smaller. Your money start looking smaller compared to looking at somebody else's pocket. Don't worry about what somebody else is making. Don't worry about what somebody else is getting. Work hard to get yourself to that level where you can be financially stable. So, 
that's number 11. Watching somebody else's pocket is not good. It makes your money look small. Number 12, washing your truck at a blue beacon. That would do it to you. Also, you're not making the money like that. Stay out of blue beacon. Get your company to give you the PO to get your truck washed. And yes, you can't get a PO every week to get your truck washed. When you new in this game, you can't be running around, going to Blue Beacon, getting the works. That's like, I think it's like $69 that I spend getting my truck washed. But I work my way to making good money where I can afford to go get a Blue Beacon wash with all the, the undercarriage wash and the rain X. You know, but when you new and you just coming off of that 30,000 mile probation with night and your bills are still backed up back home, you can't be splurging. So, stay out of Blue Beacon. Use the company's uh, wash bay, if your company got a wash bay, and ask your DM for a PO to get your truck washed. And it ain't going to be the best of the best. So, number 12, stay out of Blue Beacon. Number 13, don't be buying Chrome. Stay out of the Chrome shop. Stay out of Iowa 80. Stay out of Joplin. Don't be trying to buy Chrome and have your truck look like mine because I worked my way up to that level. Don't be in there trying to buy all your hubcaps and your fancy stuff and when you ain't got the money like that. Stay out of the Chrome shops. Number 13. Don't be buying Chrome. Number 14, you shopping at Walmart, but you still go in the TA and spend $13 on a meal that night. And you just went shopping at Walmart the same day. What's the purpose of shopping at Walmart if you're gonna go eat in the TA? Or you're gonna eat at the pilot? Or you're gonna eat at the buffet? That defeats the purpose. So, Watch how much you spend in the truck stop when you eat at a truck stop. So that's number 14. Number 15, you buying the most expensive headset in the game when you ain't really got the money like that. You ain't even got the money like that, but you buying the most expensive headset. $300 headset. Nah, you got to start off small. When I first started, you know how much my Kroger headset cost me? $79.99. So, number 15. Don't be trying to buy a $230 headset. Period. Number 16. You not paying your bills on time. If you not paying your bills on time creates late fees, which increase the original balance of the bill. Now you got to send extra money out your check to cover that late fee. So pay your bills on time. Number 16, not paying your bills on time. Number 17, taking money from the ATM at the truck stop and getting charged that $4 fee. Take $20 out. The fee for the ATM be $4.50. $3.50. That adds up over the course of the year. So, those are the reasons why why drivers is not making money here right now. This could be the reason why you're not making money at your company also. Look at your habits. Number 18, I just thought of this off the head. Stay out of the outlets when you ain't got money to be in the outlets. Why you out here trucking, trying to buy the fanciest sneakers? 
when they're going to get dirty because you got to go to dirt yards. It rains and you got to go to mud yards. Go on to Walmart and buying the TV. Try to get a PlayStation or an Xbox. You're not even on that level. Number 18. Don't be trying to buy fancy clothes at the outlet and you out here trucking. Not saying you can't look good, but you're going to buy what? Some Jordans to do what? Get out and go somewhere where you're going to have to step in dirt and mud? Climb in and out of your trailer to sweep it out? So, I got an old pair of dirty sneakers on that. Real talk, look. <laughs> but you know what? The bankroll is fresh. Smart decisions and learning how to be disciplined with your money helps you create more money. So, don't be in the outlets. Don't be trying to buy all the fancy stuff out here. If you come out here, the one thing you should be getting, your Ram McNally. So you can have that Ram McNally GPS. And I tell drivers, try to get that before you get in the game. Why are you still working at another job? Period. And this is part two of why you're not making money here at night. All right? Later.